Hey everybody, and Tony here with a review of Salvatore Sharino's Luci Mie Tradigrici, which was shown at the Staatsoper am Theater. The conductor was David Robert Coleman. The production was done by the great and wonderful Jürgen Flim. The set design was done by Aneta Murschetz. The costumes were done by Birgit Wench. The lights were handled by Irena Zelka, and the dramaturgy was handled by Detlef Giese. And before I start this review, I even had the pleasure of having Herr Flim's autograph signed on my program right here. And I also have his picture and autograph right here. So, Mr. Flim, if you're watching this, I hope you enjoy this review. So what I've seemed to notice about this opera is that this is a modern opera and it also has a very typical plot to be expected from any melodrama. The plot goes like this. We have a couple in the form of Duca Malaspina and his wife, Duquesa Malaspina. They've been married for some time, they have sworn eternal loyalty to each other, and then along the way we see the young Marquis fall in love with the Duchess, and for some reason she kind of reciprocates, though initially she has her doubts because... Oh, you know, it's part of their wedding vows, their marriage vows to stay true to each other. But somehow she goes along with having this little fling with this young Marquis. The Duke eventually finds out, as you can tell, it all ends in tears with the Duchess being killed by the Duke's hands. And let's just say that the Marquis could no longer live with himself. So, even though the plot of the opera is rather typical of a lot of melodramas, I have to say that the music is very, very haunting. It's as though that it really is of a looming danger that is lurking around a very wonderful household like the Malespinas and their servant. And then when you really have these themes of infidelity and love triangles and loyalty come into the mix, then it really does make a great use of the hunting music that really looms over the entire plot. With that said, let's get on to what I thought about the production, costumes, singing, conducting, and chorus. The production was absolutely really lovely to look at throughout the entire evening. What I seem to notice is that Throughout the first act, we see that there is a crack in the wall to signify that the marriage between the Malaspinas is about to slowly be dissolved thanks to a young Marquis in the form of Il Marquese de los Pite. And somehow we also see that the furniture, the paintings, and even some of the portraits of the Malaspina's house slowly get destroyed to signify that, well, infidelity has been slowly looming over the house and has very much destroyed the Malaspina's marriage until we get the end where the Duke very much smashes the walls and we get to see a bare stage with what little is left in the entire scenery. And I have to say that the costumes were absolutely elegant. Everyone looked really, really gorgeous, especially the Duchess Malaspina. I have to say that she had some of the finest costumes ever, and she was definitely absolutely gorgeous throughout the entire evening. So I'm not going to mince words here. The production and costumes were absolutely gorgeous in their own special way. And now we get to the singing. Let's start off with our main hero, Il Duca Malaspina, sung tonight by the wonderful bass baritone Otto Katsamaya, who I also had the pleasure of getting his autograph. His picture right here, complete with his autograph, and his autograph right here on this program.
Okay, so what did I think of Mr. Katsamaya in this role? I thought he had a very wonderful bass baritone voice. What I noticed about this gentleman was that he specialized in a lot of the Mozart and Baroque repertoire and has even sung some of the more dramatic baritone, bass baritone roles like Wolfram from Wagner's Tannhäuser, just to name one of his roles that he's done aside from Mozart, Handel, and a lot of the Baroque and Romantic stuff that he does. He has a very engaging stage presence. He is like a total panther on stage. You could really feel it every time he's on stage. His stage presence is really of the highest order. He is very noble looking on stage. He's tall. He is handsome. He looks regal. He really played this hero to a T. And his moments with the Duchess, played by Katarina Kamaloha, was absolutely fantastic. You could really feel the heat and chemistry going on with these two singers, and they played their parts wonderfully. And then we have Katarina Kamaloha singing the role of La Duquesa Malaspina. And I also had the pleasure of having her autograph and photo right here and her autograph on my program right here. Over the years, we have seen Madame Kamaloha specialize in a lot of the lyric mezzo roles from Rosina to the composer from Ariadne auf Naxos, Octavian, Dorabella, and even Melisande from Peleas and Melisande. However, we have seen her transition from doing those lyric mezzo roles to doing slightly more Falcon and some dramatic mezzo roles like Fricka from Das Rheingold, for example. She did do Belgunda much earlier before transitioning to Fricka. And I have to say that she is a very experienced singer. She has made a great use of her instrument to really embody this heroine. She has made a great use of a lot of those lyrical florid lines of the lyric mezzo repertoire and is also a very committed stage animal. You could really feel her dramatic presence on stage and she has a very wonderful timbre, which she is very well known for, which is no surprise because I have seen the singer doing a lot of roles at the Staatsopernschule Theater. And she gets better and better and better every time I see her. And I have to say that her interpretation of La Duquesa Malaspina is definitely one of her finest roles yet. Then we have the dashing young Marquesa Lospita, sung by Lena Haselman. I almost thought that she sounded like a soprano because she has a very clear bell-like tone and until I found out that she was actually a lyric mezzo. Kind of surprising because in my ears, she really sounded like a soprano. That gleaming, scintillating tone and that gorgeous transition to some of the high notes that she sings were just absolutely flawless. Not to mention her stage presence as the young Marquis was absolutely fantastic. It was engaging. It was fascinating. You could really feel that she embodied this youthful, yet very devious young Marquis to such a T. He is more devious than the likes of, let's say, Cherubino. And he is definitely no Octavian when it comes to his gentlemanly nature. This young gentleman is definitely someone who very much lusts after the Duchess. And I have to say that Miss Heisenman really did an amazing job in portraying this really wonderful character role. And then we have the role of the servant played tonight by Christian Oldenburg, who has a very fine lyric baritone voice, which he manipulates very well. And his stage presence, while comical, really sears with drama, as if to also state that there is also a looming danger going on in the Malaspina household. So I really have to say that all the singers did very, very fabulously. 
Special kudos really has to go to Herr Otto Katzemeyer and Frau Katharina Kamelocha for really, really being such engaging stage artists and for really, really having a lot of wonderful fireworks on stage as the main pair. They really pulled their roles off magnificently. And the conducting done by David Robert Coleman was really well done. And the chorus done by the members of the children's chorus of the Staatsoper im Schiller Theater was absolutely well done. So overall, I have to say that this was definitely a very wonderful performance from all the main singers to the children's chorus and even to the conductor, Maestro Coleman, who really handled the orchestra very well. So, dear viewers, if you have seen this production of Luci Mietraitrici, what did you think about this production? Did you love it? Did you love the singers? Did you love the costumes? Or did you feel kind of indifferent about it? Please post in the comments below. And until then, this is Antoni signing off, and tune in tomorrow for my review of the Japanese drummer band Yamato at the Komisho Opa Berlin. Have a great weekend, everybody.